Assalamualaikum and hi everyone It's me Miss NA and this video is about cross price elasticity of demand This elasticity is quite similar to price elasticity of demand The difference is cross elasticity involves two products Okay, without due further, let's look at how it defines Cross price elasticity measures how responsive or sensitive of the quantity demand one product due to a change in the price of a related product for example the change in quantity demand of beef is might be because of the change in the price of chicken the purpose of this elasticity is to determine the relationship of two goods whether both goods are substitutes or complementary we can calculate by using this formula Coefficient value of X and Y X and Y can be any product equals to percentage change in quantity demand of good X divided by percentage change in the price of good Y Okay, so this is two product good X and good Y We can simplify it by the new quantity for good X minus original quantity for good X divided by the original quantity for good X times the original price for good y divided by the new price for good y minus the original price for good y and also we can use midpoint formula by okay we can simplify it by this formula q uh, the new quantity for good x minus the original quantity for good x divided by the original price for good y minus the original price for good y times summation of price divided by 2 and all together divided by summation of q divided by 2 okay summation of p uh, summation of price is uh, the the original price plus the new price and the summation of quantity the new quantity plus the original quantity altogether divided by two and we can get the coefficient value it could be positive value or negative or maybe equals to zero All right let's look at the 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 coefficient value if you get the positive value or more than zero meaning that both goods are substitute goods we could say um, beef and chicken maybe example for substitute goods the second one is a negative or less than zero so if the coefficient value is negative meaning that both goods are complementary goods for example coffee and sugar or petrol and car Okay, we can we have to use both product together and also we can get the coefficient value equals to zero meaning that both goods have no relationship all right that's all for cross price elasticity and next we will move to the income elasticity of demand okay from this title income elasticity of demand we can uh, we can uh, understand that the relationship of quantity demand is because of the change in income not uh, price anymore this is about income for example if our income increase or decrease how quantity demand of that product responds to our change in income we can define as to measure the sensitivity or responsiveness of the quantity demanded due to a change in income the purpose of this income elasticity is to determine the types of the good whether it is luxury good or maybe normal goods or inferior goods and also maybe necessity good we can calculate by using this formula percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in income 
and we denote that income is y or we can simplify the the new quantity minus the original quantity divided by original quantity times the original income divided by the new income minus the original income okay and also we also can uh, use by using use midpoint formula okay the new quantity minus the original quantity divided by the new income minus the original income times summation of income divided by 2 divided by summation of quantity divided by 2 okay and the coefficient value might be positive value or negative value or equals to zero let's look at the response of income elasticity if you get the elasticity income elasticity more than one means that it is elastic income very responsive to the change in income for example the types of good luxury goods such as antique furniture or diamond but if you get the coefficient value is in between 0 and 1 for example 0 0.4 or 0 0.7 the types of good is normal good such as food clothing if you get the negative value or less than 0 this is negative income elasticity the type of good is given goods or inferior goods such as used car, low grade potatoes, low grade rice and meaning that if our income increase the demand the quantity demand for that good reduce that's why the negative income and if you get the coefficient value equals to zero meaning that the types of good is necessity good such as rice and vegetable okay so i think that's all for the income elasticity so for this video we had covered cross price elasticity of demand and income elasticity of demand all right guys i hope you will understand for the uh, understand this video and if you have any question you might ask me thank you